what's up guys kid prepper here and you want to know how to become a prepper right i know you do okay well perfect you're in the right spot to learn how to become a prepper in my last video i talked about what i think is a prepper and i said that in my next video i'll talk about how to become a prepper my tips so let's get started first thing is it's a mindset if you don't believe or not believe but think that you'll ever need do the stuff that you have for an emergency then it's kind of hard to prepare and do stuff that you might need or get stuff that you might need if you're like oh, I don't think I'll ever need this but yeah anyways also becoming a prepper is getting you could if you're starting out I would suggest getting some spare supplies like if you don't have a knife get like a survival knife get some rope, maybe get some food for sure that could last you a little while, get extra water. So lots of water, water is really important. You can go a few days without food, you can't go a few days without water. Water is more important than food. They're both really important. Okay, and last, um, if you're becoming a prepper, I suggest watching lots of YouTube videos. There's so many videos about tricks and tips you can do with so many little gadgets and so many little things that you have lying around your house case of an emergency so watch lots of YouTube videos there's also this show on YouTube that I watch it's called doomsday preppers they have like they have shows that are like 45 minutes and they kind of like go into the life of like two or three preppers like major preppers and show what they do to prepare like some people they have like thousand dollar bunkers they have like years worth of food stored in their house or ready to evacuate they have like bug out places that are like crazy they have like they spend like half a million dollars some people on a helicopter so that they could fly out. Some things like that are a bit extravagant. I don't think that you need to be that extravagant. I just suggest maybe getting some stuff in case a little thing happens or you need to leave your house or you have to, you're stuck. You're stuck and you can't get to the store for a little while. Yeah, and if you're becoming a prepper, I don't suggest talking to people about prepping if you sense or you know that they don't, that they kind of think prepping is maybe crazy or they don't think that you would ever need anything like this. Like they don't believe, they don't think that there could ever be a tsunami or there could, or something that, an earthquake or like a zombie apocalypse. Like they might not think, when on earth would there be a zombie apocalypse? So, but hang, if you hang out around people who are into prepping or talk to people who are into prepping and you talk about prepping, then you, they'll give you tips. They'll be like, uh, positive really they'll be positive which gives you like motivation to prep more and not be like ah so guys thanks for watching subscribe like this video check out my facebook page it's called tuamoy and uh, uh bye see you later in the next video sometime real soon.